The state aid has remained fairly flat. Um, and we look at the needs of our community and of our students and our population and our free and reduced lunch rates have gone up and we want, want, when we want to focus on increasing student achievement and making sure each and every child crosses that stage and graduates at a time when we're facing a lot of financial pressure, um, it's critical to make sure we're providing our children with the skills and the tools and the teachers that we need to move them forward to make sure they're college and career ready. It's almost a quadruple handicap this year. Besides the economy, you've got flat state revenues, end of the stimulus funding, uh, the tax cap, and the pension costs uh, and health costs aren't and going health down. Healthcare costs, correct. And so, uh, actually, um, I'm, I'm very happy with what the district has been able to present to us so far in light of what we're looking at, but we really need to look down the road. And so next year's picture, as you can see, Scott, who presented to us, um, is going to have even greater challenges. And so we really need to start look at budgeting three to five years out. Are you satisfied that you basically have the quality of education that you want to have to meet the motto of the school system? I think we're always working on that. You know, we want to make sure we're always increasing student achievement. And when you look at the diversity of our students, we want to make sure we're providing the supports, the challenges, the rigors. We want to make sure we're engaging them and helping them so that they'll use their curiosity and they'll be in an innovative and they'll want to come to school and they'll be excited to come to school. And then ultimately, they'll graduate and they'll go on to be wonderful citizens for our community or or somewhere else, but I hope they stay in our community, and I would like to see more and more of our students staying in our state. You know, that's very important. Over the last several years, we've seen many kids moving out, and we really, we have great um, children and knowledge here, and then they take it other places, so we'd like to keep that in the state and harness that. Is there any way you could have held the line on this budget without the consolidation plan? I don't think that would have been possible, but I think that that's why we're a little bit, um, it took us a little bit longer and we're maybe a, a week or two behind where we would have been coming out with the budget because we really needed to take a look at what the school consolidation was going to do for that. But it really uh, wasn't uh, just about the money. We really wanted to take a look at our population has decreased our student enrollment here in Greece. We also wanted to take a look at our demographics. And so those were some of the key issues we were looking at. And then, of course, the finance piece played into that as well.